This video is about why everything you're attached to lately seems to be taken away or changed. So welcome to the channel. If you're new here, my beloved Amanda and I have a new paradigm university, Aphrodite University, where you can learn about true love, metaphysics, and soul purpose. You can check that out in the links below. So if you're like me, and if you are a human, on planet Earth, you have probably experienced in the last couple years a lot of changes. And maybe especially the last month or two, you've experienced some major changes. Some examples include shifts in your relationships or um, your technology. Maybe your computer's acting really weird. Uh, maybe you have a big project that you're working on that con constantly shifts due to unforeseen obstacles and you kind of have to remove, figure out how to move around obstacles that are coming up. You might be going through changes that are really frustrating. For Amanda and I, we just got uh, the message that our phone numbers are going to run out. We need to change our phone numbers which for me was extremely frustrating because I've had my phone number for my whole life. And anyways, it just doesn't work out um, having an inter international phone number anymore. Even though T-Mobile is supposedly supposed to allow you to have a phone number internationally, but that's not the case if it's over three years. So we have to change our numbers to a local number and go through all of that fun, a little bit of headaches to set all that up. And other things is uh, maybe your technology could be doing really weird things. Uh, Amanda's computer was falling apart randomly, and so we had to fix it multiple times. Actually, I think at, at least three times we've sent it to the shop. And my computer, the trackpad has stopped clicking, and I have no idea why. Other than there have been solar flares that have been happening. You can look that up, research it on Google or YouTube. So that's another thing. But the main reason why these things are happening, if you believe in astrology, uh, astrology is the ancient science that has been around longer than modern science. Uranus, the planet of massive change and rapid awakenings, this planet is in the sign of Taurus um, from 2019 to 2026. So, and it has been hitting a particularly powerful peak time ever since the beginning of August. Uh, Uranus has come conjunct with the North Node and Mars in the earlier in the month. And so this represented massive changes and awakenings and shifts. Um, since it's in the sign of Taurus, our stability and security is really being shaken up. So anywhere in your life where you... Um, have that sense of stability, uh, that could be shaken up rapidly right now. Uh, I know for me, I, <laughs> I tend to get a sense of stability when everything is in order in my bank account and my finances and my accounting and my taxes. And that is just all being completely shaken up now that I've moved to a new country and I have to figure everything out from ground zero and learn all the ABCs of, you know, all of the finances here in our bank accounts. So if your sense of stability and security is being really shaken up recently, don't get down on yourself. Just realize that we're in this massive shifting energy. And here are some tips with how you can deal with this. We can learn to be more patient during this time. So, you know, that we can we can either play victim to all these major shifts in our lives um, or we can remain in a positive state and get the gold, get the biggest benefits of these massive shifts in our life. So patience, patience is a virtue. Learn to be more patient, that's what I'm doing. Embracing, uh, letting go and letting God every day as new obstacles show up, um, just being patient and just trusting, trusting that everything will work out, trusting the universe, that the universe has a greater plan than my little monkey brain could figure out. 
and to remain unattached, remain unattached to outcomes or that things have to be a certain way in order for for me or you to feel secure, um, just finding divine security, knowing that we are we can be secure at all times, even when we feel insecure, we can still find that sense of security through our connection to God, to source. And this is a time to welcome change instead of resist it. I think we've, we've covered that mostly. And to do your best and to then let go of the outcome. So if you're working on a project and things just keep changing and obstacles are coming in the way, just do your very best and then just let go of the outcome. But continue to move forward each day but then, you know, just remain, you know, in that state of just accepting, like whatever's going to happen, happens and just embracing whatever shows up and just taking one step at a time, not getting too far uh, beyond the present moment. So I hope some of these tips help. Um, if you're interested, check out our links below our university, AphroditeUniversity.org. We have sessions available, especially if you're committed and especially if you're interested in any of our programs, that's a great place to start. Um, so thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you very soon.